The fate of Atlanta courthouse shooter Brian Nichols is now in the hands of a jury. The panel spent Thursday trying to determine if Nichols was insane when he went on a shooting rampage three years ago, killing four people, including a judge. In 2005, Nichols, who was on trial for rape at the time, was being escorted to a courtroom when he beat up a deputy guarding him, stole her gun, and started his shooting spree. He evaded police for almost a full day before a woman he took hostage alerted police to his whereabouts. During his six-week murder trial, the defense has argued Nichols suffers from mental health issues and that on the day of the shooting, he believed he was a slave rebelling against authority. Prosecutors have painted him as a cold-blooded killer, vicious and dangerous. They say he made up his slave master story in order to avoid the death penalty. If a jury returns a guilty verdict in the murder case, it must then decide if he deserves the death sentence. If Nichols is found not guilty by reason of insanity, he'll likely go to a state mental hospital. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.